And now for something completely different, or at least something that's been coming for a while, but will be different for the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Hello kitten. Right then, this is the Tech Travel Geeks unpackaging, or unboxing if you will, of the, my new pair of jeans. This is a pair of community clothing, raw denim, straight cut jeans which I uh, purchased online directly from Community Clothing. This pair of jeans is, has two buzzwords that denim heads get very excited about, selvage and raw denim. Now, I've reached out to Community Clothing to find out uh, if this is sanforized or unsanforized. That means, has it been pre-treated to reduce the amount of shrinkage or not? And um, I'm looking forward to what could be my very last pair of jeans. Now, to give you some context, I'm not being particularly uh, pessimistic about my future here. I'm now in my 40s. I have quite a collection of uh, denim jeans. And at this point, this may do my needs until the, my very last day. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway. Packaging, sustainable, uh, community clothing uh, have quite the sustainability slant to all their communications. It's a brand that I really quite buy into. This is my first purchase from them. Let's see what it's like. Obviously, plastic bag here, invoice slip, and a plastic bag that contains the jean them jeans themselves. Now, interestingly, this plastic bag is not actually plastic. From what I see here, it's made from sugarcane. And then we have the jeans themselves. Okay then, so here we have the, my men's straight cut selvage jeans in raw denim. Right, I'm probably not the best person to explain what raw denim is and what selvage denim is. Uh, I got to the point of making my purchase from Community Clothing after wa watching multiple videos on the CRD uh, YouTube channel. This uh, is a person who sounds very Scottish, who is based in Berlin, who seems to be one of the subject matter experts of the denim industry and denim heads uh, around the world. And uh, after having watched multiple of his videos, I have a slightly better understanding of what this world is like. But we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, thanks, Matt, for all your, your videos. They were very informative. And I've decided to go for community clothing. Uh, just because they're made in the UK, they are allegedly sustainable, and they make use of British craftsmanship, British manufacturing, and uh, do so in a way that you shouldn't need to buy jeans or clothing very often. This is supposed to be all done sustainably. Now, this pair of jeans is, first touch, quite hard. Uh, that's probably because it's raw denim. It is a very sturdy pair of jeans. And looking at it, it's, it's actually quite nice. Dark uh, indigo, dark uh, blue. And uh, from what I've read, this should fade nicely. But there aren't many reviews online about these uh, jeans. So I'm looking to, to experience them for myself and use them in day-to-day -day use as much as possible. Now, Label on the jeans, it's a cardboard label, it really is very simple, it has a barcode and text on there to tell you what the model is and the size is. And yes, if you're asking, I am now a 36 inch waist, though over the summer I'm planning on going back to at least 34 inches. And the reason uh, I purchased 36 inches is that on the community clothing website, they do state that this will shrink between 1 and 4%. So, as I said, I've reached out to community clothing for a bit more clarification on that. We'll update you in a future video about how I'm getting on and how they've behaved after their first wash. Now, salvage denim means that they are made using the edge or using uh, denim that has been produced in a certain manner using a, a shuttle loom rather than a projectile loom. And that means that on the inside of the stitching, you'll have the actual edge to the sheets of denim they use to make the jeans. And 
this is quite apparent here. It has red edge selvage denim, or as I've learned watching the, the CRD YouTube channel, it's called an, a selvage ID. And uh, from what I can understand from the, the community clothing website, it is a Turkish denim that they're using, which is apparently sustainable. Now, quick look at the stitching. Everything looks great. It is this sort of orange-brown stitching with a bit of a retro feel to them. There's unbranded rivets where you'd expect them. Uh, definitely not in the crotch and uh, everything looks quite tidy. Now looking at the inside of the jeans we have uh, a label that says made in England and then a second label on the po inside pocket saying made in Blackburn and then there is the community clothing logo all on the left inside pocket and then if we look at the stitching it's all very very nicely done it looks really, really solid. So, all very good in first impressions. Now, what I'm going to do is pull these inside out. And once they're inside out, we'll have a look at that selvage. What does that mean? So, this means that the construction of the jeans, the legs of the jeans, have been cut from the edge of the sheet of denim. And that edge is here. You can see that beautiful uh, selvage ID on the inside of the leg of the jeans and it should be likewise on the other leg. Whoops! Oh! A rivet seems to have come out. I'll put that aside for later. And here we have the selvage denim ID on the inside of the jeans. I wonder where that rivet's come from. Very odd. Must be an extra one, or I hope so. Okay, so in terms of the construction of the jeans, they're very, very solid, very good overall uh, pair of jeans. I'm going to put them on, give you some first impressions on the fit, and then leave you to our next video. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Okay then, so I'm back after a few hours of wearing the jeans. Um, I have some thoughts and more importantly, I've thoroughly inspected the jeans. There's no missing rivets. So that extra rivet that came out of the jeans whilst I was turning them inside out must be an extra gift from Community Clothing. So if you're watching this and you work at Community Clothing, thanks. Extra rivet is a great little token of the craftsmanship that went into these jeans and interestingly it sticks to the speakers in my HP laptop. But enough about that. The jeans themselves fit well. Uh, they are nice and rugged, nice and, and hard as you'd expect from raw denim and they feel really really nice on my legs. The Selvage ID obviously has that beautiful little red detailing to it and I've obviously ordered a 32 inch leg in these jeans and have turned them off or up. Uh, I've cuffed the jeans uh, using a double cuff to show off that Selvage ID. I'm really really quite happy with that. Anyway, the jeans fit well, the pockets are nice and deep, they pass the Google Pixel 7 Pro test which involves me putting the Google Pixel 7 Pro, which is a large smartphone with a case on it, into my pocket vertically and being able to sit down comfortably without breaking a rib or having some internal organs mushed to pieces. Uh, the overall feel of the pockets is that they're slightly heavy, but they will do well. And if, this is, if my previous Levi's are anything to go by, I'll probably end up having two phone uh, fadings on these jeans as they age. One for each front pocket. The back pockets are very spacious and comfortably past the wallet test. A wallet fits in there quite, quite comfortably, so I'm happy with that as well. And overall, after my first few hours wearing the community clothing raw denim selvage jeans in a straight cut, I'm very happy with my purchase so far. 
So what I'll do is carry on wearing them for uh, a few months and put them through a few washes and get back to you on how I get on with them. I might even feature them in one of our future travel videos to let you know how they do in travel situations, trains, planes, automobiles, and maybe a little bit of walking around cities. And so this is the first jeans unboxing and future review of, uh, of clothing here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. We have already done uh, an unboxing and a review video about wool shoes from Giesveen. And we also have uh, a video about Allbirds uh, shoes that I recently purchased. So obviously this moves away from our usual coverage of Tech Travel Geeks, which usually covers consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and anything we think makes the travel experience better. Obviously clothing is important because you do tend to wear clothing when traveling unless you happen to be going to a nudist beach, but that's a lifestyle choice. And so I think clothing is an important thing to cover on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, especially when there's such a geeky or let's say enthusiastic community around the how the jeans are made, the materials that are used, and the technology which has evolved over time and sometimes is a bit retro. But as far as I'm concerned, these, cons these community clothing jeans are a great first impression. I'll let you know how we get on. If you'd like to see more of our content, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. And if you made it this far into this video, thank you for watching. Goodbye from me.